Konnichiwa, my name is Kaorina Gao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist and also your Southern Highlands expert. Today I'm very excited to showcase a brand new listing here in Southern Highlands that I am co-listing with my colleague Claire Nagao. Before we start the home tour, I'd love to share with you why I love living here in Southern Highlands. Southern Highlands is the most southern west part of town in the Las Vegas Valley. If you're coming from LA or Southern California, we're the first community off the 15 freeway as you exit Southern Highlands Parkway. This Southern Highlands master plan community features over 8,000 homes, various sub communities, whether it's guard gated or gated. We have seven parks, two shopping centers, and the reason why I love Southern Highlands so much is because you have a sense of feeling of a community. It's a very much of a small town feel here where when you go to the grocery store at Smith or if you go to the Walgreens or grab coffee at Starbucks, you're most definitely going to run into somebody you know. I've lived here for the last 15 years and one of the reasons why I love Southern Highlands so much is because of the location. We're only 10 minutes away from the Strip, 10 minutes away from uh, the airport, 5 minutes away from Henderson using St. Rose Parkway, and just very easy access to the 15 and the 215 freeway. This particular home I'll be showcasing today, we're in a gated community called San Savino. We're located on the Southern Highlands Parkway, and Southern Highlands Parkway cuts through the Southern Highlands community that goes south and north. And this particular community is adjacent to the private school called the Southern Highlands Preparatory School, and just walking distance to the second shopping center that features a brand new French bakery, which I just did a video on, so I'll make sure I have a link here, Le Café du Sud. And one of my other favorite things things in that particular uh, plaza is a sushi place called On Demand Sushi where you could actually do takeout of your favorite sushi platters and, and obviously it's great for busy moms like myself, working moms, if you want something easy to go, that's something that I highly recommend. Alright, let's go take you inside to this beautiful home. Let's go! We're located on 11575 Zagarlo Lane in a gated community of San Savino. This home features four bedrooms, four baths, and an office, a beautiful backyard with a pool. I can't wait to show that to you. And it spans over 3,558 square feet. Two stories, and it's also on the corner lot. So again, you don't have neighbors behind you. So that is very, very much a plus if you're looking for privacy. Let's go take a look inside. As you walk into this home, the first thing I notice is the travertine tile throughout and also the high ceilings. Look at this 20 feet ceiling height, guys. It just makes a grand experience and opens up the whole space. As you walk in to my right, well, first of all, we've got to introduce Lola here. Hi, Lola. Good morning. Are you ready for my open house today? This is Lola, guys. You'll hear her purring in the background, so don't be afraid. <laughs> So starting with uh, the entry area, as you walk into the right, we have this nice seating area. They've made it into a living room space. And what I absolutely love about all the different finishes that the owners have done is the different wall features that they've done in each single room or area to create that personality. And what do you guys think of this copper wall feature here that goes all the way to the ceiling? Pretty cool, right? Okay. And I just have to do a shout out for all those record loving people. Look at this. Look at this. It's just such a nice decoration to have. Obviously, a lot of people, you know, keep records, right, from, from the, from the old days. And, you know, it's nice to be able to play it here in the seating area when you're having a nice conversation. Now we have a step up into this gazebo dining area. You guys take a look. I absolutely love this elevated area. You have your own formal dining space. You've got a large window. You've got natural lighting as well. Look at the beams that they've done up here on the ceiling and this also uh, light fixture. It's really, really cool. Comment below, what do you guys think about these formal dining spaces? Are you using it or is it only for special occasions like Thanksgiving? It's really a preference, but if you're entertaining, it's really nice to have this, this kind of a formal dining space, don't you think? All right, as we go into this area, you're greeted by uh, a dining 
table here and this big kitchen area that has been re recently renovated. So this kitchen, it's a, it's a quartz countertop, as you can see, really thick. And it's a really interesting shape here. It's kind of like an L shape where you're actually able to have the bar stools right here. You've got two people here that could easily have breakfast or a casual bite here at the kitchen. Absolutely love the matching quartz countertops for both the center and the perimeter, backsplash. I absolutely love this large sink. And again, you know, a lot of these people have asked me, you know, especially for new bills, standard is usually the, the sink that's basically divided into two. And if you want to upgrade it to just one big sink like this one, it is an upgrade. So just something for you to notice. But I love that it has a beautiful picturesque window where you can see a view from the outside of the backyard that I can't wait to show you with the pool and the spa and the seating area. So you could actually see what's going on in the backyard while you're doing things at the sink. You've got a cooktop here, the vents, all stainless steel appliances. I love the color that they chose for their cabinets as well. It goes really nicely with the, with the quartz. You've got your stacked oven, microwave, and this is your pantry right here. So moving down to this uh, level, actually you have a two step down. So it's nice that this house has some elevation that they play around with coming from the entrance. You step up into the formal dining and then now from the kitchen area, you're going to step down into this gaming area, this big family room living area that's great for entertainment and also to hang out with the whole family member. I mean, look at how big and spacious this whole area is. When what they've done here is that they obviously have a fireplace here, but they've had their, they have their TV and entertainment system here. And so it's really nice that your whole family could get together here and watch a sport, sporting event, watch a movie here. I absolutely love these areas where all the family members could get together. And then off to the left over here, you have your own office space. And look at this super cute, you know, a lot of people are doing these sliding doors, like the farm style sliding doors. Comment below, let me know what you think about this. But this is really nice just to get some, you know, privacy when you have to take a phone call or if you need to do some office work, you're kind of tucked away here off from the living room area where you could actually do some work. And then just to mention, we do have the laundry room to our right, the garage straight ahead, which we'll go to, and then the powder room. So a lot of homes here in Southern Highlands, you know, whether it's two car or three car, I love that it's, this is a three car garage. It's definitely a family oriented community and family oriented house. Three cars, lots and lots of storage space. We've got a fridge, we've got your uh, water tank over here. But having three cars is really, really nice. Maybe you only have two, but you've got the other side for storage or additional refrigeration for the family. It's just so nice to have that additional garage space. What do you guys think? As your Southern Highlands expert, I just wanted to give you a quick market snap. And I also wanted to share everybody, our audience here, that in Southern Highlands, compared to the general market in Las Vegas, we're always up on the median price by approximately anywhere I've seen from 25 to 32 percent. And right now we're at 31 percent. And here's why. Las Vegas uh, June stats here in the market, the median price was 480,000. Compared to that here in Southern Highlands with 43 homes sold, the median price was actually 628,000. So again, there's a 31% increase in the median price. And I really like to showcase this to all of our audience watching here. You might be interested in moving to Southern Highlands versus other neighborhoods in Las Vegas. is because all of all the custom homes are being currently developed here. We have a beautiful country club, the Southern Highlands Country Club that houses over clo close to 800, 800 homes. And over there, they have multi-million dollar homes, especially in different communities and sub-communities, double gated communities with custom home builders like Growth Luxury Homes. And then we have Blue Heron Homes that are also gonna be coming in this fall in the country club. So again, when you have multi-million dollars around you, that definitely brings up your equity of the house. And again, as you can see, this home here behind me that I showcased today on this video, is it's listed at $830,000. And again, we're seeing a lot of great appreciation in all these homes in the Southern Highlands community. All right, I'm gonna take you upstairs to the second level. And I mean, just look at this beautiful treatment of the hand railing, the design, and obviously these two, two travertine steps that lead to a platform here. And then you get to go all the way up to the second level. I mean, this is such a beautiful touch. And uh, it's kind of rare to see these kind of staircases now. 
So now we're on the second level, and the first thing that you see is a built-in um, desk area. Again, additional desk space is always, you know, preferred, right? Um, and then we come to our four bedrooms. So we have two on one side, and then two on the other side, the primary and the second bedroom, and then the third and the fourth bedroom. Let's go take a look at the primary first. As you walk in through the French doors, what I notice automatically is how big this space is. You've got your own seating area, you've got a private balcony, which I'll show you shortly, and then a very big uh, bedroom area, and then it leads into the bathroom area. So let's go take a look at this private balcony off your primary bedroom. So what my owners have done is made it into a workout room, which I think is an excellent idea because look at these views that you're working out to. You've got your backyard view, and again, because we're on the corner lot, you don't have any neighbors behind you, so it's very, very private. And you know, one of the other things I love about Southern Highlands that I forgot to mention in the beginning is all the green lush landscape landscaping we have here. You don't really feel like you're in a desert anymore. Once you step into Southern Highlands, it's just all green and lush. You've got uh, bike, bike lanes, you've got lots of people walking their dogs, running. I mean, it's a very nice community, an outdoor community, and definitely you notice the green the lots of greenery that you see here in Southern Highlands. As we transition into the primary bathroom, the first thing I notice is the transition of the pattern of these travertine tiles. What do you guys think? I just love that you guys, you get to walk into this new patterned wall. You've got closet space on both sides, it's sliding doors. And then you come into this really nice open area where you have your elevated tub. You've got your walk-in shower, which is super spacious. You've got two vanity sinks a vanity area for your hair and makeup for all the ladies, and then a bathroom. One of the things I really appreciate is all the design and the efforts that go into it. Take a look at this beautiful stonework that you'll see here within the bathroom. So you've got it on this wall, and then you also have it on this perimeter wall of the tub. What do you guys think? Doesn't it make it more elevated, the experience, and obviously you know, brings out that whole luxurious feel to the space? So we're in the second bedroom adjacent to the primary bedroom. And what I notice about this room is the big window and you can see a very nice view of the backyard and you can see how private it is because you don't have a neighbor behind you. And right adjacent to that second bedroom, you have uh, your bathroom here. It's a tub shower and a single sink. So this is the third bedroom. It's obviously a kid's room. I absolutely love all the decoration that the son has done. What do you guys think? Lots of superheroes and action figures, right? I love that he has a desk here. He's got all his books here. And then you also have a walk-in closet behind me. So the fourth room here, they've made it into a nursery. But what I noticed is that this fourth bedroom also has your own walk-in closet behind you, big windows, and look how spacious this is. I mean, you've got your, you know, your own built-in desk area. You've got your, um, I think they call this a day bed, right, you guys? It's been a while for me, guys. You know, my oldest is now what? She's going on 12 and my youngest is eight. So I forgot what this was called. But I think it was called a day Bed. It's like a conversion between the crib and the day bed, and then they become, you know, into like the grown adults and the beds. But anyways, this day bed is really nice, and you have seating area here, so it's a very nice over, oversized room. And I do want to make, uh, I do want to mention that we have ceiling fans throughout all of the rooms here. Now stepping into the backyard. Wow! Look how spacious this is. Wow! This is one of the biggest backyards I've actually ever seen. Um, you've got your seating area in the gazebo here. I'm going to definitely sit on that hanging chair for the closing. And then you've got lots of lands landscaping here, lots of palm trees. Behind me, a very nice large pool. We've got uh, the spa jacuzzi right at the corner. And again, you guys, you don't have anyone behind you. You have no neighbors. So again, it's just a lot of privacy and you don't have other noise, you know, contributing to your uh, entertainment outdoor space. And then over here, you've got more lounge areas to sit down, more landscaping, and you even have a covered area for, uh, for dining here. You've got your dining table here. My goodness, this is a backyard oasis. What do you guys think? So in closing, I am in under the gazebo on this hanging chair. It's super relaxing. You hear the waterfalls behind you. This is a really nice backyard escape for all of you busy working people like me um, that want something quiet and something to wind down to after a long day of work. So you guys, what do you guys think of this uh, home tour? I'd love to hear from you. If you have any other questions regarding Southern Highlands or Las Vegas Henderson Real Estate, you know who to call. 
And again, this is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist and your Southern Highlands expert, bringing you the newest listing here in Southern Highlands. And I can't wait to show you more on my next video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. Make sure you like, subscribe, and engage with me. See you on the next one. Thank you.